Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video, and as I get adjusted here, it might be a little shaky. Anyhow, we're taking a look at number 17 of my LDD tricks, tips, and any other things that you might need to know to help you in your ventures with LDD. Now then, today we're going to be taking a look at our next tool down the line, which is the... I call it kind of like the auto-align tool, but that would be the uh, next one over, I believe. Uh, anyhow, let's see what LDD calls it. It's called the hinge align tool, in case anybody was wondering. And, oops, I just closed on my YouTube tab. I don't want that to happen. Anyhow, this is probably the most hated tool out of all the tools. Because it absolutely sucks, and it never works when you want it to work. Uh, now then... The way this tool works is basically you select it. It's the fourth one, kind of in the middle. And when you peer over any type of stud on the mock, there's these kind of weird-looking green arrows that appear coming out in circles. And you're supposed to select one area and then select another area, and it will automatically snap together like you just saw. So now then the brick is obviously where it needs to be. Now then, the issue with such a tool is something like this. Say that I want all these pieces to curve so that they're all kind of in a trigger guard fashion. So I'd obviously select a piece here and a stud not too far away for it. So I'll go right here. And I select and shit like this happens. And there's no way to stop this, by the way. So you have to sit here for a good minute or so and allow this piece of shit to work itself out. Which it won't, because it doesn't work like that. So these green arrows are just going to keep having intercourse for the next 30 seconds about, and then eventually a red arrow will come up, and I'm assuming that something bad happened, just like that, and it goes back to the regular formation that you had, and it doesn't work. So anytime you have something kind of like this and you wanted to make it into a trigger guard, just use the hinge tool, the rotate tool, which we covered in the last lesson. So you guys should know how to do it. So just kind of, you know, rotate it yourself. And if you have to add on some more studs, just add on some more studs. Because apparently LDD is too stupid to understand that you can rotate all of this in more than one direction. Uh, so that's something for you guys to take a look into. Uh, it takes a lot of experimenting to get good with this tool. I don't ever use it because I fucking hate it. But if you want to use it, it's good for things like this when you know it's going to work. I knew that this piece, that this piece was going to work. I believe that there is also something else that you can do um, where it basically... It uh, goes at a 45 degree angle, the technique piece. I've seen it done before, but I don't know the exact stud dimensions up and down and over to the side to get that done correctly. So I'm not even going to attempt that. Um, actually, I might. Hold on. Uh, I'd say it would be that one and that one. Sometimes that will happen. If you uh, select some stud that you don't want, just go ahead and um, don't bother or just click somewhere else. Like say I want this stud and I don't have any other studs, just click somewhere else and it will work. Uh, but this and this. And uh, yeah, if you get a red arrow ring, that means you can't do that. So like I said, it just takes a lot of experimentation to get this right. Uh, I'd never use it. I'm pretty sure there is someone else in the world who is more proficient at using it than me. However, I'm the only one attempting to make decently good tutorials on how to use the tools. So that's pretty much how you use the tool. There's no advanced features that I'm worried about, to be honest. Um, I don't know. If this video didn't really help you, I'm sorry, but there is a help button up here in the corner. Click on it, go to help, and then uh, scroll down to where it says using the hinge tool, and scroll up just a little bit, and the hinge align tool will automatically connect two separate connection points. That's as close as you will get 
in the actual LDD help bar. Um, so, yeah. Think of it as a giant fuck you by LDD. Because there's pretty much no way to do anything with that tool. Um, so like I said, if you're trying to do some advanced features in LDD, kind of shy away from it because it's kind of difficult to do. But it is a good challenge, so if you don't mind pounding on your keyboard for 40 hours with your face because it's not working, uh, go ahead and try to do it. Um, if not, don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure you can do it by other means as well. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, go ahead, comment down below and tell me that. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. I just, it's beyond my ability to use this tool because it's a piece of shit. And uh, if you think you can do better, I'd love for you to post something down below so I can see it and I can make up for the amount of insane shit that did not come from this video. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you guys want to check out my website, if you have any spare time, go ahead, bluejaythemeister.weebly.com. There will be a link in the description. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.